Hello viewers, you would have come across various terms like semantic model, data modeling, star schema, data set and what not. Many times you would be wondering what semantic model is and how it is different from others and what are the components in semantic model. In this video, I will be explaining you on what semantic model is all about in Power BI. Subscribe to my channel to get alerts on my new videos on technical front. I'll be using the retail analysis sample PBIX file for this video to explain you on the semantic model. So when you open the sample file, you will be able to view the visuals in various pages like new stores, district monthly sales and so on. All these visuals appear in the report view. Selecting each of the table is going to show us the respective data. The next section is the model view and this is going to be our focus area for this particular video. We get data from various sources in various forms and we transform that data based on our business need. That is, we will work on the data modeling part where we create a star schema with fact and dimension tables and we create cardinalities between the tables. We also create measures to aid us for the reporting purpose. In the data pane under tables, you will be able to see all the table level details that are involved in the modeling. Rather than just looking at the table level view, I might want to understand it at a very logical level in various categories. You will be able to see the semantic model category wise, which are the list of the calculated groups, the measures, relationships, tables, and so on. This is what we call as a semantic model in Power BI. So semantic model is basically the data which is organized in a star schema view with fact and dimension tables, the cardinalities, measures, that is going to help us with the visualization. If you want to understand how to create a semantic model, you can check my previously released videos on star schema data modeling and measure and DAX query in Power BI desktop. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon with my next video on Power BI.